Hi there, Aaron here, and in this video I want to talk about how to sing good. Okay, how to sing good. Uh, the ironic thing about the statement, how to sing good, is it is bad grammar. Um, so let me just get that out of the way first. Um, how to sing well, yeah, that's, that's, that's better grammar. So this is not a grammar lesson, this is actually a singing lesson, so let's jump into that. Um, how to sing well, how to sing good. Uh, First of all, at the end of this, I want to give you a good vocal exercise that will help you to be able to sing well. And uh, it's one of my favorite ones. It's a good warm-up exercise that will kind of get you going in the morning as well. Um, it's one, if it's the only one you do, it's a good one to start with. Uh, so the, how, do, how, how, how do you sing well? What, what, is, what, what, are the, what are the different things it takes to learn how to do that? First of all, um, understanding the voice. Um, there are two uh, probably... Yeah, three three main things I think. It's like understanding the voice, uh, learning proper technique, and doing vocal exercise. So the last one I'm going to give you is that vocal exercise. So understanding the voice, what does that mean? Um, things like nasality. Uh, a lot of people when they sing, they sing, and it just sounds kind of like this. It sounds nasally, and nasally doesn't come across. It doesn't doesn't sound very good, and nobody really wants to hear a nasally singer. So. Um, Understanding the voice is understanding how to, um, for example, would be how to get rid of the nasality in your voice. And it could be a lot of things, but mostly it's probably the soft palate. And I won't go too much into it now, but soft palate is just beyond the hard palate, which is the roof of their mouth, soft stuff behind there. And usually nasally means your know, soft palate is down too low. Um, so that, that's one, you know, understanding the voice. Understanding that the voice is a delicate instrument. Um, understanding that, that when you yell and you're like, um, try and belt a note, uh, uh, like that, that puts a lot of strain on your voice. And it doesn't sound good with tone, but it also can hurt your voice. So just understanding those, you know, there are lots of things to understand about the voice. These are just a couple examples. Um, the second thing is uh, learning proper technique. Proper technique uh, are things like learning how to breathe from your diaphragm. Um, breathing from your diaphragm is taking a, comp you know, just to give you a little, a little tiny glimpse of what it is, it's basically having proper posture, taking a complete breath, and allowing your diaphragm to descend, creating space for your lungs to be able to expand in your stomach cavity. And as you sing, the tendency is to let your chest kind of collapse, to fall like that. But instead of doing that, keeping your chest nice and nice and high, like kind of just like like I am now, not super high. Um, but that is that. Is, those are some of the basics of learning how to diaphragm breathe. So that's that's learning the proper techniques. And there are a lot of techniques of learning how to sing. But that that was just one example. So it's understanding the voice, learning proper technique, and then doing vocal warm-ups. Um, vocal warm-ups are important because your voice is made of muscle and cartilage and you need to build up those muscles to be able to manipulate the notes the way you want to and to be able to sing all the things you need to sing and know what your voice is going to do when but you need to strengthen those muscles so that they respond the way that you want them to respond when you're singing right right so let's get to the voice exercise um, this is a this is a good one it's one of my favorites as like a morning exercise um, it's going to be z's z's and we're going to do z's on just basically um, five notes descending. So it's going to be. I start a little low, start a little higher. Do that with me. And then you can raise it up, you know. higher and higher and higher so this is a really great exercise you can keep going up and and back down and get the lower register and the higher register in your voice this is not only this is a good warm-up but it also kind of just gets your voice ready to go for more um, for more you know more strenuous singing more strenuous type of vocal exercises so that's your little mini lesson that's kind of the how to sing good um, lesson um, and I just want to encourage you to 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 pursue your dreams, pursue your dreams of singing. Um, you can do it. You don't have to be born with lots of talent. Anyone can learn how to sing. And uh, I'm guessing that you want to be a singer, you wouldn't be watching this video. And, and go for it. Really go for it. Um, no matter what people have told you, no matter what you're telling yourself, no matter the negative thoughts you may have, go for singing. I've seen so, so, so many of my students think that they can't sing. 
and then learn how to sing and learn how to sing well. So I just, I'm convinced that it's possible. So um, that's that. Um, if you don't mind subscribing to the channel, I would be grateful if you would do that. Um, and liking it, I would also be very grateful. Um, also, leave me a comment, anything you want me to teach or you just want to, anything you want to say, I would love, love to hear from you. I always read those comments. And I've got a link below that's um, to my um, systematic program. It's an eight-week systematic program called Superior Singing Method. And that's, for, that's uh, for beginner singers, intermediate, and advanced singers alike. It's eight-week systematic. Step-by-step, step, you learn the right things at the right time.